Hi, it's Bumble. Welcome back to my channel. Just getting on the SNES here. We are going to continue with Kirby's Dream Land 3. I'm actually on the final world of that now with Iceberg. That's going to move on with that. Oh, we'll actually record it all in one day. Then I'll be done with the game, and for my recording purposes, I'll be set for Princess Peach Showtime. Yeah, we fight D to D at the end of that. I definitely a memorable boss fight for me. I just don't remember the heart stars other than the one for Nago. But we don't need Gooey. Bye Gooey. But that's sort of set up the same as like the grass level and the other flower levels. Like the ground's the same, you have flowers, there's clouds, except you know the flowers are different and the snow. It's like a color palette or something was put on it. Why is there so many witches? It's a little suspicious. Is this the same exact thing or is it like different a little bit? Why do they keep jumping directly on me? That's so rude of them, actually. Like how they have the steps to like get up. Actually, no, that would depend on the animal body. Actually, Rick wouldn't be able to jump out. Oh my gosh, Bruh, I wanted prune. We've been cool. But like, as Kirby, you can go anywhere, you don't need like steps or anything, but then here it's like, why don't you have an animal, buddy? So maybe that's why the steps are there, I don't know. I'm not sure which direction I'm supposed to go in, let's find out. Oh, okay, it's just the same. Hurrah! Oh my gosh, they are relentless here. This is the first level. Actually, I remember one of the levels is a lava world of that thing. I think. Do we have lava in this game? I don't remember. I feel like we did. There is definitely a level we need fire. I'm just not sure which one it is. I don't know what we need for this one. We haven't even had an animal, but it is. Sometimes I wish I had Gooey just so I can control him and then get multiple abilities and other things. I technically could, but that's a hassle with like one people. Ah, it's fire. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, okay. There is fire here. We're good. We're actually set. I like how some of them are like those little dragons. Sense actually, they'd be frozen, so go help them out. Bruh. No, 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 I need that. I need that. Give me, give me. Okay, give me, give me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh my gosh, I do not want to stop. Yeah, that's just how it feels. I don't want to accidentally squish them or whatever. So who do we got? We got Rick. He has the fireballs. I don't want to feel it too much. Oh, I don't like pitches that now. Well, that was Rick for this. He's actually good for ice levels. I do know how to use them a little bit better because of that stupid level. Oh. That's interesting, it had the noise. Oh, here we go. Only after I got in. Mm. Mm. Okay, I heard the little ding 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 ding. So we're good to go. Glad we got that out of the way. 
Oh yeah, Rick's thing that I keep mentioning with the ice is that um, he can actually walk on ice without slipping because there are ice levels. But this one's snow, so we're fine with snow, but if it's ice, Kirby slippery. But Rick, I don't know why Rick has some of these just abilities I wouldn't expect. Um, like the not falling down in ice. Like he has little hamster feet. I don't know, man. Um, and then the climbing walls thing, I don't get either. I don't know if these are all like hamster <laughs> abilities. Yeah. But I mean, he's a very like, because he's a hamster, but he's big, you know? Like he's one of the bigger animal friends. Um, he has just like the little paws and whatever. I mean, you can't ha you could just have a hamster on all fours and that would work. I think that would be really funny actually because neither of Kirby's friends are like that. Like, you have the original animal buddies, you got an owl, a hamster, and a sunfish, and then this game, and it makes me sad that's only this game that has, that like properly has Tutu, Nago, and Pitch, but then one's like a tiny bird, an octopus, and a A cat like they're all sort of like they function similarly to the originals um man i did not remember this stage at all oh we can just see this it's cool if i had two two that would be a little easier i didn't even know there was a ceiling in here oh my gosh they're eating my face thankfully we don't have to go find the hidden stuff the run actually can go sort of a normal pace. I just keep slipping. Oh, no, I did not want Gooey. Okay, I'm realizing my problem with Gooey actually. It's because there's a back button on my controller and it's, it works as the A button. I didn't think about that until right now. Oh my gosh, this is. Ah, get in the door, get in the door. We did it. It's always a flower one, huh? Yeah, this, besides the art style, it's like you have the, um, you have all the animal buddies and that's like the big gimmick of this game and then besides them being adorable, they have their own abilities too and then you can even have Gooey in this one as like your second person if you want, which that's how I originally experienced this game. I haven't played any other Kirby game like that. Nice, nice. Do -do 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 -do. I just really love like, the slow pacing and everything with this game. So soft. Oh yeah, we're gonna need ice for this one actually. That's an interesting thing. Go fight the Metroids. Um, oh yeah, but that's it. That's the end of this level. We don't need an animal buddy for the next one. I'm just trying to hold on to Rick as much as I can. Okay, um, on to level two, I guess. Bye.